Hi, Kurt Munoz, physical therapist with Balance Physical Therapy, here to show you some exercises to help train your balance strategies, your ankles, your hips, and your stepping strategies to help you maintain your balance and prevent falls. So with small perturbations or little nudges, Floribio should be able to maintain his balance just by using his ankles. So, pies juntos, otra vez. So the first strategy we use with small little nudges or displacement of our balance, our ankles help us to rock forward and back to maintain our balance. So what I'm doing is I'm giving him small little nudges and he's using his ankles without losing his balance to help him stay upright. These are called our ankle strategies. Good, and relax. So the next strategy we use is we go to what we call a hip strategy. If we're trying to reach farther outside of our base of support or we get a larger nudge to maintain our balance, our ankles are no longer sufficient. So what we need to do is we need our hips to help us by moving in the opposite direction as we reach. Or if we were to get nudged back to maintain our balance, we would have our hips shift back to help us stay upright. So as this gentleman reaches forward as far as he can, if he was reaching for something in a cupboard or something like that, his hips would have to come back to maintain his balance and keep his weight right over his feet. So again, let's reach forward as far as you can. And back up. Muy bien. Otra vez. Muy bien. Uno más. And this strategy works in all directions. If I was going to lose my balance backwards, my hips would want to go forward to help me maintain my balance. If not, if I lose my balance back and I keep my hips going in the same direction, I would lose my balance back, kind of like a tree falling in the forest. Okay, relaja. So the last strategy that we use when we have larger displacement of our weight or our, 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 we get nudged and we have to maintain our balance with a bigger movement, we use what we call a stepping strategy. So rather than just rely on our ankles or our hips to do the motion to help us stay upright, we have to actually take a step. For some people, this is something we need to train and practice. So for this exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this gentleman lean back into my hands and then without telling him, I'm going to take away some of his support and he's going to have to take steps to maintain his balance. Okay, so Toribe, you're going to have to lean back, lean back, para atrás, pero no, no, no te mueves tus pies, nomás um, para atrás, ajá, ajá, nomás para atrás, ajá, so, más, 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 so, ponen presión en mi mano, ok, aquí, ponen presión, 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 no, 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 so, relaja, so, mira, mira mi pies, mira mi pies, así, ajá, para atrás, para atrás, para atrás, ajá, and that would be the correct response is to, to maintain his balance by taking steps. So we call these stepping strategies. Sí, okay, pies juntos otra vez. Igual. Presión en mi mano. Presión, presión. Ajá, muy bien. Okay, otra vez. Vamos allá. Okay, para atrás. Para atrás, para atrás, para atrás, para atrás. Okay, agarra su balancia. Muy bien. Another way we can do that is to use larger nudges. So, okay. So, I got on su balancia. Okay. Listo? Good. Otra vez. Balancia. So, using nudges in different directions encourages us to take our, our balance to the next level. Use these stepping strategies to make sure that we don't fall or, or lose our balance too much to where we have an injury. So, that was three ways that we can maintain our balance by using strategies in our ankles, our hips, and our feet, or stepping strategies.